Hey guys, Thunderset here, making a report in on the WCS and how I did. I made top 500. Uh, let me just start by saying check the description to upgrade these numbers you see in the top right corner in this rank, because I'm going to be a better rank and my winning percentage and game totals will be different, because uh, as you can see I'm 26, 177. Here I did all Friday, I just played the 64 win percentage Friday, thought that would get me in the top 500. We're about an hour to go in the tournament, and as you can see, the top 500 in North America right here is already over where I was. So I had to grind up to 26, 177. They're not going to beat that. That'll be top 500, no problem. So check the description for the new numbers, the new win percentage. I had to record this because of how I work, my work schedule. So it's an hour before maintenance right now. I've got to hurry and record. But, uh, so yeah, I use Blue Eyes, guys. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Super good in this meta. Here you see the rank again. My rank will be lower, so, uh, look in the description. But, uh, yeah, Blue Eyes. Why did I use Blue Eyes in this meta? Let me start by saying it's a pretty healthy meta, now that 6 Sams are pretty much gone. You, you still see them with that World Legacy tech a little bit, but they're pretty much gone. What everyone's using is Kwaki Miru Neos, so, uh... You see it everywhere. All the top players are using it. It's got a great winning percentage. But think about what its deck does. So it has lots of flip monsters like Gale Lizard. It has tons of Cosmic Cyclones. And it has Neos coming out. So you're not afraid of any of those cards with the Blue Eyes deck. Cosmic Cyclone is pretty much a dead draw because you just have spell cards you're going to use immediately. And Neos is smaller than all our monsters because we're using Beatdown. We also have Sphere Kribos. We keep popping back with Keeper of the Shrine. The only cards we're really afraid of are the Kwaki Miru cards. So that's how they usually wipe you. They'll usually get an ice out and just wipe your whole field and then attack you with anything. But other than that, you just stomp them out if they don't get their ice really quick and all that stuff. So that matchup was great and it was a really popular deck you were seeing everywhere. So of course, another popular deck was Blue Eyes. You're seeing Blue Eyes a lot like this deck. This isn't too too outlandish with the text, just a keeper and uh, ancient rules. I really think ancient rules is worth it. Uh, it's it makes your spirit of white you gain as effect to banish a little faster than you would if it was a cosmo brain. So it works out pretty nice. Uh, we're using three dice baby just because you really want a fast deck in the WCS. Uh, you want to get quick wins. You don't want to use slow books. You don't want to use uh, sub terrors. Well, I mean, sub terrors are strong, but they take forever. You don't want to use metaphys. You can't afford these 10 minute duels. So, but those are all relevant decks. Uh, spell books back with Silent Magician, thanks to Light and Dark. You're seeing sub terrors everywhere. But think about the sub terror matchup now. So, you just outswarm them. We're swinging over their Umatrix the whole time banishing their final battles and then you just elsewhere their t their one banish and another thing that helps with the sub terror are the new level 9 uh synchro monster the vermilion dragon mech he uh he's super useful in this deck you see tons of plays from him super cool stuff and so the sub terror matchup doesn't really bother you that much it, it works out pretty well and we have Beatdown for the Mirror Match, because you're seeing other blue eyes everywhere. Beatdown helps with the Mirror Match. Beatdown helps over other red eyes who are equipped, because you're seeing every sort of red eyes out there too. So it's, it's a very healthy meta, guys. You're seeing all sorts of stuff, all sorts of uh, decks out there. Pretty crazy. So um, yeah, I, I liked it a lot. I wish I could have got to play more. I don't think I even got 100 games, but uh, pretty cool stuff. So again, just check back. You'll see this rank is lower, or don't don't check back. Check the description. I'll have the description updated with the new numbers, but uh, for sure top 500. So I just put together some replays against the two most common decks I was facing there, and how the matchup goes against them. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did well in your WCS. Let me know how you guys did. I'm sure there's people who outranked me who are like maybe in the top 100 let me know but uh yeah thanks for watching guys as always and uh see you soon bye so this first replay just shows you 
how a lot of the duels went. Um, he's using that Neo stack I was talking about, Quackimiro, Nerefs, with Switcheroo going second. You always want to go second. So, like I was saying before, you want to use a fast duel in a WCS. So, uh, what we do here, let's see. He sets one. We top deck our dice, baby. It's literally this simple. We have two swings out of dice, baby. Turns out he had a Gale Lizard. Usually they set a couple uh, Cosmic Cyclones at the same time. So you're just fighting this deck constantly, and they really have to get their Kawaki Miru monsters to beat you. The only way they usually beat you is they'll summon a Kawaki Miru Ice and wipe your whole field, and then summon a Neos and beat you. But outside of that, you're beating the Neos, you're beating their face down flip monsters, you're beating it. The Cosmic Cyclone does nothing to you, so it's like you're perfectly fine. Sphere Kuribo gets them to overcommit, and uh, it just works, guys. It, it, it was countering top tier decks, so that's why it was so successful. Okay, this duel is going to be a little longer. Versus a Japanese player this time. Loomis and Umbra, you know what he's using. It's Mass Tribute and Sub Terrors. We're going first. Not the best. Your first turn plays are usually just setting a face down white stone if you're lucky. We do have a white stone. So, uh, you can see, I think my Dice Baby fails me here a couple times. Let's take a look. So Mass Tribute, Nemesis Warrior, the whole shebang. Chooses not to attack into my White Stone because he knows exactly what it is, but that's okay. Now here's the beauty of Ancient Rules vs. Cosmo Brain 2. He gets his Umistrix out, he's going to use it, Subterra Final Battle, to banish our White Stone of Ancient. A little, I don't know, a little over preemptive play I'd say. He didn't even know what we were going to do. Special summons is Nemesis Warrior. We have a dice baby. We're going to aim for what we don't know. And obviously I miss with that one roll. So he has an option to activate it. I aim for it. I miss. Now we got to just swing at the final battle anyway. Hit the final battle. He flips this this face card. Pay 2,000 life points. Target one monster in your graveyard. Special summon. Summon that target. Face down defense position. It's no problem. We use beat down. Oh, and this guy actually misplays right here. So we swing over the Umatrix with beat down. Beat down super needed. We attack into the Nemesis Warrior. I completely misplayed there. Um, what he could have done instead of scooping is flipped up his masked beast, whatever one it was, and that would have special summoned his Nemesis Warrior. And then he had three cards in his hand. He could have kept going. But people are in a hurry. That's why you want fast decks. People don't know what they're doing. Uh, it, it just works out, guys. So overall, my impression of, uh, of the W... I, I, was, I called it a million different names. Just call it WCS. The WCS, it was, it was a healthy meta. It was fun. Uh, I didn't get to grind super a lot. My final score is actually a little higher than this. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the replays. I hope you had fun in the tournament yourselves. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.